I work on a group of animals from Africa. There's about 80 or so species of girdled lizards is the common name. The scientific name for the family is uh, the Cordylidae. These animals are known for their coats of armor. Like all vertebrates, these things have an endoskeleton, but they also have kind of an exoskeleton, as much as they have these bony plates embedded in their skin all across their body. Um, like an armadillo or an ankylosaur, things like that. They are closely associated with defense, but there's a trade-off between the amount of armor you have and the speed you can travel at. The amount and location of these bony plates vary from species to species. Some of them are entirely encased in armor, others have just a teeny little bit of armor in the tail. And so the CT scanning allows me to visualize these bony plates in the animal themselves without having to dissect them out. Ed and other researchers are using the 3D images that CT scans create to study museum specimens without harming them for future research. One really cool animal um, is one of the most spectacular species in the, in the family is uh, this species called the armadillo lizard. It's also called the Ouroboros because when it's attacked, uh, it curls up in a ball and bites its tail. And we uh, CT scanned that and we found that it has a huge amount of armor, but that armor is only on the back. So it rolls up to protect its belly. CT scans of fossils can provide hints to the lifestyles of long extinct lizards we can tell some certain aspects of their ecology, their lifestyle, based around the structure of their inner ear, um, whether it was a burrowing thing or an arboreal thing. And obviously that's really cool for paleontological work. So if we're looking at uh, fossils, we can look at the various structures in the brains and say, well, you know, it seems to be similar to the inner ear of a, let's say a squirrel, you know, compared to a mole. And, and so we can, uh, we can maybe say this thing probably lived in a tree rather than buried under the ground. This um, skull was produced at the American Museum of Natural History, where I did my PhD. This is a 3D printed skull. It's from a CT scan uh, at the Microscopy and Imaging Facility there. This is uh, the, rather a ridiculously named Smaug Giganteus, the sun gazer, the giant sun gazer from South Africa. And CT scans of specimens and fossils aren't just helpful to scientists. So. It's really, really helpful and important for sharing information between collaborators, but also sharing it with the general public as well.